Welcome to the Vibe Tribe family, the biggest little family in the world. It's your empathetic couples therapist with a random relationship rating today. A triple R between Cancers or Chinese your sheep and Gemini or Chinese your horses. Yes, you can flip flop, mix match however you please. If you guys know what I mean, then you can be a Cancer sun with a Gemini moon. You can be a Cancer dating a Chinese your horse. They don't have to be Gemini. That's how I mean. So you can flip it, make it how it goes with your script okay anyway thank you guys so much for the 715 subscribers i have lost five subscribers for whatever reason some of them could have been fake accounts so i have to at least keep that in mind because a lot of people get their stuff restricted and then they don't even have an account sometimes anymore so i gotta get that and know that you know maybe when they get a new account if they do or whatever they'll come back either way even if it wasn't a good one, it's probably better than not have those energies that don't want to be a participant, right? Because it does kind of take away from yourself as a individual, like, tarot reader, I guess you could say, right? Or empath or psychic or whatever, if you have people in your energy that just don't support you. So I'd rather have people that supported me in this range of what I do than those that don't, right? And I wish them well for wherever they go. Either way, we're going to be talking about cardinal sheep, cardinal water energy, and mutable, beautiful air together, connection, bond that you share, okay? All right, so I don't know who the feminine and the masculine is, but I will talk in feminine masculine um, interpretation so that you guys can know who is who, but um, either way, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get you a heart and soul angel card, okay? I busted these bad boys out today, and we are reading them, so... I'm trying to get a little bit better with my reading again because I know I was doing really good before and um, since I took a break with the reading because I know I was definitely getting into I have another oracle that comes with a lot of reading and I've been trying to do the spirit of the wheel too but I have been really lazy about taking it in and reading the whole prayer and what the whole thing means I just do the interpretations of what the card has on it okay but cancers and Gemini spirit thank you so much for being here today and allowing me to be the channeler, the couples therapist that I need to be today for the amazing Cancers and Gemini's energy and Chinese your sheep and horses. Now, this is your angelic beauty that I believe it's definitely an angelic card. So, we're going to read this to you and tell you the page number and everything like that. I don't know exactly where it is. I was hoping I could find it right off the bat, but apparently not. Okay. I know I could pause during this time, and I'm so sorry that I don't, but I guess we could talk about how you guys are doing. I hope you guys are doing amazing and that everything is going well. Happy Thursday, if it's Thursday for you. Um, you know, I hope your work's going well, your job, your money, everything like that in life. So we have Ragiel. Ragiel. Rag Ragiel. Guardian Angel of Spiritual Perception. The card of finding, keeping, the simplicity of spiritual truth. And this is page number 102. Something could have happened on January 2nd. Something could be meaningful on that day. Something could also be specifically on October 2nd, or something had happened on October 2nd for some of you. But, with number 102, right? Trying to hide from me. Seriously. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ragul, it's perception of your own spiritual truth. Portrayed as pure white, upright column, radiant light. From the creator's cloud of knowing, regules bring a drift of white feather to surround you. In many ways, truth can be likened to those tiny white feathers. It is light and easily blown away. Fragile, but holds an inherent strength. By itself, it is defenseless. But in mass say, it warms as well as protects. Lifts to unimaginable heights. Regil says you don't need to find your sole purpose. Or it will find you. Spiritual truth, like a tiny white feather, is simplicity itself. Persevere that part of you that holds your honest intent. Engaging the heart to strengthen and raise your own light column. Oops, sorry guys. Ragil invites you to sit quietly. Imagine yourself completely protected within his cloud of delicate white feathers. Snuggle into this cloud and focus on its purity, kind of like cloud nine. Ask to be guided on your path to truth and for a glimpse of your soul purpose. The angels will disclose only what you need at this time. But step by step, the different, the different stages of your soul journey will be revealed. Ragil's feathers of spiritual truth gradually uplift you to stand tall. A strong, upright pillar of radiant light surrounded by angelic grace. 
angelic attitude right there right at the end angelic grace angelic energy definitely so we're talking about a very angelic connected spiritual divine couple okay because you guys both share something massive and purposeful together okay there is a purpose for why you guys have been brought together okay and the one thing i will do is talk about we were just talking about the spirit of the wheel so i'm gonna pull it out and get you we're gonna get one per so i'm gonna get cancer's oracle and i'm gonna get a gemini's oracle so we're gonna see we're gonna pull energy of cancer through cut all my energy out spirit we don't need anything from me to interpret into this and nothing negative needs to come through we just need to focus on what positive energies we can grab hold of what negatives can be transmuted and changed into love by love into something more positive so cancer's energy withholds wisdom the universal law of learning and sharing number 33 now maybe cancer is the age of 33 or they will be 33 this year or something like that Okay, 1933 is the year of the rooster. It's equivalent to Virgo's energy. So, of course, they could be Cancer roosters. They could be Virgo sheep. Well, let's talk about Gemini's withhold and no Cancer, just Gemini. Just Gemini, all alone. Illumination, full of illumination, Gemini. Full of wisdom, Cancer. Illumination, divine communication, spiritual knowing, and inner light. Maybe Gemini is 34 or maybe between 34 and 43. 1943 is the year of the sheep, though. That is the Cancer's energy. 1934, on the other hand, is the year of the dog, which is equivalent to Libra. So we can have a Gemini sun sign with a Libra moon. You could even be a Gemini dog or even a Gemini sheep you could be dealing with. So you could be a Cancer dating a Chinese year sheep. That's a Gemini sun or a Gemini moon or something like that as well. Either way, so we have divine communication between the two of you. There's a lot of illumination and wisdom that you are sharing universally and spiritual energy of knowing and creating lots of different types of powerful uh, vibes that you guys are um come like making compatible and like it's almost like a team work team player effort so it's like maybe you guys were like could be like a sport thing i'm saying like basketball like coming together really making a real amazing game of it you know what i mean but really knowing how to play both parts both one knows one team one team but coming together as a team working together to make it really um, amazing right all together watching that's why people come together is to watch different teams but you guys were like one team here one team here but you came together there's no hate between the two, right? So it's not really a versus, but it's really a fun thing. You guys are playful. You guys may like sports. Uh, maybe you guys go to like the sports bar. Maybe that's where you guys like to eat the most or something like that. I'm getting that a little bit. Some of you guys could like whiskey. I'm getting whiskey shots, okay? Um, I don't know why, but I am. So you guys could have met at the bar. You guys could like country. I don't like listening to that. There's like whiskey glasses just came to my mind. Okay, let's talk about Cancer's feelings, feelings of their own energy all up in that, right? So, Cancer being four cups in the reversal in their feelings is them saying, hey, I'm seeking my alignment, I am finding my happiness, okay? And that's the clarity they've been seeking in their feelings, so there is something about wisdom, they're very wise individuals. What is Cancer's thoughts, though? What is Cancer's thoughts? In this relationship, for this relationship with themselves, what's their thoughts? What is their thoughts here, Spirit? Also, thank you, Spirit, for being here. Uh, the chariot, Cancer, again, I cannot believe this. This is definitely Cancer heavy in their Cancer. They could be Cancer sheep, even. They could be Cancer sun with a Cancer moon. They could be Cancer sun with a Cancer north node. But they're taking action in their thought. There's a lot of focus, okay? What I'm feeling heavily is concentration they have a lot of concentration i don't usually always feel that and i know like the ace of swords is also about concentration but i don't always freaking get it so that's why you guys probably don't always see my terminology change much if you guys have watched me for a while i only feel what i really feel i, I don't always feel something all the time with something you know what i mean and mainly a lot of the same similar energies do continue but finally a sense of concentration they are desiring a fantasy life daydreamy life all up in those clouds of angelic light love happiness fulfillment choices options to choose from and not just like like options as like different men or different females no like options to choose within this relationship together scorpio's energy heavy in the water heavy in the motions 
Um, the motions of the ocean. Do, 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 do. I know. It's like, who can take a sunrise? I mean, I was like, the motions of the ocean. Um, let's talk about Gemini's feelings. Gemini's feelings. Yeah. Cancer's is like desiring a total fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Page of Swords. So, I mean, yes, it is all air, but it's Gemini too, kind of in their own feeling, right? And then you go, oh my, Knight of Swords in their thought, Gemini again. That is crazy. Y'all, you guys are on cue. You're very aligned with one yourselves. Aligned with yourselves. Yeah. Five of Cups, Scorpio. You both got Scorpios. You got a five and a seven of Cups energy, which are both Scorpios heavily. Okay. Boom. Crazy desires, the release of emotional baggage and overcoming despair. Well, hell yeah, you go, Gemini. Okay, the Knight of Swords and their thoughts like, hey, let's do this thing. Okay, let's do the dang thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it now. Do it good. I don't know what else to do without you. I need you by my side is what I'm feeling. Um, Can you be my partner in crime type of energy? Coming in with fast communication in their thought process, very focused and determined and um, quick-witted energy, right? Very intellectual and communicative, very divinely communicative. Lots of um, passion behind that communication, too. Um, with the Page of Swords and their feelings, there's a lot of knowledge that they're feeling inside with that wisdom that has been shared by Cancer's energy into their own spiritual knowing. And it's also enlightened them and given them so much more clarity in their life that they know how to move forward with that, proceed forward with that, um, maybe even know how to um, think before they speak in a lot of different situations, right? Being very adaptable in the situation, resourceful, yes, doing the thing, okay? And yes, there could be energies following that that could be watching Gemini from the side. I don't feel all bad things, though. I feel there may be a few energies that actually are like eyes wide looking at Gemini. Wow, look at all their steps are taken. I'm going to look where it's leading them. I think I could take some notes, okay? Um, but yeah, so there is that energy, too. But anyway, let's see. I'm going to get you, like, um, between the two of you. How is this connection sprouted? Knight of Wands on the bottom. So that's so much perseverance, okay? Ongoing battle sometimes. Battle weary, yeah. Queen of Wands in the reversal. The fool in the reversal. There's a foolish energy playing a foolish game. It's an ex of a masculine here. Or it could be a mother of a masculine playing a foolish game between these two. Very jealous of this relationship, the devil. Very jealous of this relationship and what kind of spiritual enlightenment that you guys have improved with and what kind of awakenings you came through with and emotions together. Something this person has never had. They're very jealous, very angry, very um, bullying. They're trying to um, limit the way that this connection comes through. They're trying to control it. Very domineering energy you have with the Queen of Wands and they're very foolish. It's a very foolish game. Okay. Devil very foolish game the, the devil likes games so, capricorn aries pisces aquarius energies this could have been happening during capricorn season this person could have definitely put more fuel into the fire or added more fuel to the fire during capricorn season in chinese year tiger when we were in that space now we're in aquarius season during chinese year rabbit so it's still kind of continuously happy you see all of that happening right okay with that being said i'm going to get you in all things considered for the both of you, okay, for the both of you, this connection. <gasps> Thank you, Spirit, because, yes, they needed to know that. Someone is willing and open to give you the support. Both of you are open and willing to give each other the support you are in need of. You are in need of some compassionate empathy, a warm, long hug from each other you love, right? A shoulder to cry on, an ear to be listened by, a hand to hold in times when you feel weak or vulnerable, eyes to look at you with depth when they speak to you. Everything may be crazy right now, but I am here by your side through it all. Someone to lift you back up when you fall, to get you to laugh when you feel like sulking and do little sweet things to make you feel thought of. It's the little things that you are in need of, right? So you guys are in need of some love. And that's the support that I see you guys giving each other through this angelic light, angelic grace, okay, for each other. I'm going to get you a few messages. One year, start planning, make some goals and strategize. And I really like you, but I don't know how to tell you. Haters going to hate. Appreciate yourself more for being honest and real. There's no apology needed when you do. 
what you do and worry concern energy worried about losing something or someone that means so much to you now that could be maybe like if this is a mother energy that's very jealous of this relationship they don't like how it's going forward they're being toxic about it because they're worried about their baby going somewhere that will actually be amazing and they don't even need their mother anymore okay because that could go like that I'm, I'm feeling that energy i did feel motherly type uh and i feel the masculine's mother but okay uh, i'm gonna get you a message towards each other really fast Okay, Cancer, what do you want to say to Gemini? Gemini, think it through in the reverse. Stop thinking, oh, stop overthinking everything. Gemini is what Cancer is trying to say. But you know what? A reflection of that is what they feel about themselves, by the way. So they also know they need to stop overthinking. Okay. Gemini, what's your message to Cancer? Aw, reflect on your priorities. Aquarius is energy. And that's what they've been doing. They've been reflecting on all these things to take action, right? And then this is also the determination from the Gemini's energy side where they've been reflecting on the priorities and what kind of despair they needed to overcome, what kind of neat things they needed to face to get through the sadness and this like repressed trauma energy, right? So they had to get through that and reflect through their own priorities. So it's always a reflection of oneself and it's heavy on the air. So very intellectual connection that you guys do share. So when you guys are together, you guys have very wise deep long conversations that are like holding so much of that wisdom you guys are sharing you guys are learning together you guys are growing together you're expanding each other's mindsets you're opening each other's minds to different possibilities and different outcomes and different like uh, potentials okay so i like this relationship reading it was really good and i hope that this helped you in any way it possibly could and um you know please like comment or subscribe especially like if it went, really did resonate with you i'd like to know that it went to the right person Either way, you guys are all amazing, and I'm super thankful to have you on this Vibe Tribe family journey with me. So have a beautiful rest of your day, and if I don't see you again this week, have a beautiful weekend, and stay safe. Always do, please. Thank you.